And here we go with the Brisbane Broncos team. Manly already out on the field. The Broncos now coming out with Wally Lewis leading them. And listen to the reception that Walter and the team will get. Well, not entirely unexpected, of course. Uh, even the reserve grade got quite a few uh, boos when they ran out onto the field. What a game it is for the Broncos today. A lot depends on that man there, the number six for the Broncos, Wally Lewis. And, of course, if we think back to that first game in the season, 44-10 the Broncos won. But Manny Baringa bombed three definite tries in the first half. Could easily have been a reverse result had they got across the try line. Wally Lewis is taking an injury into the game too, Billy. He told me before the game, a very deep-seated bruise. There's the referee, Mick Stone, a very deep-seated bruise on his left buttock. A legacy of a, a kick to uh, by the Great Britain halfback Andy Gregory on uh, Tuesday night. So let's hope that... Uh, Wally settles down. He couldn't take a painkiller before the game, but what a vital uh, cog he is in the Broncos machine today. My word is, he's got to produce a couple of those things that he did in the uh, in, his, in the state of origin and also in the test match uh, last Tuesday night. Uh, the referee, of course, Mick Stone, and as we said here before, it had been raining quite a bit uh, prior to the match, but, uh, gee, it's cleared up quite a bit in the last 10 minutes or so, and, matter of fact, we're getting a little bit of sunshine poking through. A big crowd out here at Brookvale Oval today. They also had plenty of cheers when Paul Voughton came onto the field, playing his 200th grade game for Manly today. He's the 13th player from the club to do so, and he's now in his ninth year at uh, Manly Warringah, coming down in 1979 after playing with West in Brisbane. So there's the kickoff, and it's uh, Manly getting the ball from the kickoff and coming up there with it this time will be Daryl Williams. So coming up the centre, bustling his way through is Gately. They're going to be put over, though. Dummy half uh, over there was Haggart. Haggart has made a good thing of it. He's kept Cochrane down at the reserve grade again. Yeah, good effort from Haggart. Of course, he wasn't selected in the very first game of the season when the Broncos played Manly. And uh, since then, he's now uh, made every post a winner. And uh, he's done very well to stay there. On the start for the Broncos, they Manly made very good territory in the first couple of rucks. And a fairly simple kick downfield uh, to get the Broncos inside their own territory. Dowling getting it outside to Tessman over there. And Tessman going to be wrapped up a couple of metres short of that halfway mark now. Kieran Walters, he's one of the replacement players today for Greg Kinescu. And, of course, Grant Ricks for Joey Kilroy. And Ricks is out there on the wing. Over the top, Ian Gately. It's not the first time he's done it either. He swung an arm earlier in a tackle. Gately was one of the uh, damaging players in the match against St George a couple of weeks ago. Straight over the top there, Gately. There it is. Brett Lemann, Ruhr, really caught one. In actual fact, Gately will be very fortunate if he only gets away with a caution here, as Mick Stone suggests that you must keep them down on the chest. Gately's got away with it. It's only a penalty. Yeah, let one go at uh, Duffy there right from the kickoff a short time ago when they kicked downfield. There's Lewis finding touch. Fake coming up to 30 metres out now from the Manly line. The Broncos in possession for the first time in the match. Or well, the second time, but the uh, settling it up here now in the first time in the second in the um, half of Manly. Back over there to Tessman. Tessman getting up to the quarter line. Fairly vigorous this Manly team this afternoon. That's Walters' is dummy half. Away to Dowling. Dowling carting it up. Still going the big front row. By the way, in the reserve grade, uh, it was a win for Manly Moringa. 12 points to nil. They led 6 nil at half time. Full time score there, 12 nil. That's Madison finding a way through. Broncos only about 10 metres out now from the Manly line. Dummy half is Walters. He decides to work his way away from there. He's only a couple of metres out. The final tackle coming up as Madison goes to dummy half. Madison swinging it away to Alan Langer. Alan Langer with a little kick through. Following it after it. Dwyer's back there. Can they tackle him in the goal area? They should. There's enough of them there that they do. And so it's back to underneath the goal now. Good work from the Broncos uh, playing the percentages. They've uh, been on the back foot a lot themselves against opposition teams. Good little kick from Langer. Made sure he got uh, Tim Dwyer in the end goal area. Lewis could easily have been offside. A bit fortunate there. He was in front of Langer at the time. But Dwyer ultimately surrounded. And Mandy will now have to have a goal line drop out. So there it is. Driven downfield towards Alan Langer who sweeps it across over there. Coming up this time will be Teban. Team into about 25 metres out from the Manly line. Matter of fact, driven back a couple of metres in the tackle. Walters to dummy half. Over there to Gene Miles. Gino runs into plenty of Manly defence, led out there by Phil Daly, and also into the tackle will be Fatty Vorton. So it's Tessman again, up to the quarter line. Lost the ball. Retrieved and up there by Walters. And lost forward. The big hit initially on Tessman. He seemed to uh, keep control of the ball, and then only at the last minute... As he struggled forward, did the ball go? A little bump, actually, from Manny Moringa. Could easily have been a uh, six to go had Mick Stone had the advantage of the uh, close-up that we've got. Penalty, differential penalty to the Broncos. Hand in the scrum. As we said before, it's uh, not very often we get differential penalties, but that's a blatant one. A silly penalty, really, and the Broncos are allowed to continue the pressure. So it'll be Lewis to kick the touch here. Not making any mistake with that one, so the Broncos can take it up from there. Walters coming up onto the mark now. No points on the board as yet at Brookvale Oval. This is Dowling. 
Dowling running into uh, plenty of Manly defence out there. He was highly critical of the Manly forwards in the first game. He said they went missing, and they're certainly not going to go missing today. So now back it comes this time to Tessman. Tessman pretty close to that line, only about a metre or so out. You can tell by the, the noise of the crowd, there's nothing happening whatsoever. Langer getting it back to Lewis. Lewis back to Langer. Langer with nowhere to go. Now he swings it away to Madison. Madison still 10 metres out. Away from dummy half, Walters. Walters trying to find a way through, and he's almost there on that occasion. Madison dummy half again. Madison swings it back over the head of Lewis. It's going to be Gene Miles picking it up, sending it back to Alan Langer. A little bit sus. The crowd thought it was, that's for sure. This is Duffy. Final tackle now. Walters to dummy half again. Back over there to Lewis. Lewis puts the little one in, but it's going to go back over the dead ball line. Bad kick from Lewis. Takes off all the pressure. They had uh, Mandy Warringah on the roundabout there. That's exactly the sort of pressure they wanted to apply in the early minutes. Too heavy a kick, that one, from Lewis. Not a kick that he does a great deal of. And a quick tap taken by Manly, and it's big Phil Daly up the middle. Yeah, and the crowd thinking, um, getting onto the ref, that uh, the Broncos up offside. But they're back pretty well on this well, occasion, but a penalty there. Silly penalty. The Broncos have had territorial advantage in the match, and now they're going to allow Manly to get out of their own territory. Initially with a poor kick from Lewis, who uh, put the ball over the dead ball line, and now a silly penalty. You know, Madison there trying to save uh, no more than a half a second. And he's given away 30 or 40 metres and another six tackles. So it'll be Dwyer to kick for touch and finds it a couple of metres short of the halfway mark. Five minutes gone, no points on the board as yet. Here's Rapati, had a big strong game the last couple of weeks, this fellow. And uh, certainly making his presence felt. Gately. Gately will be tackled, though. Underneath was Brett LeMann on that occasion. Back to Haslam. Bounces out of Langer's tackle and also Madison's tackle. Got away from Tessman. LeMann tackled him and he got it to Cliff Lyons. Now Lyons to no one. The ball rolling on the ground will be a Broncos ball and coming away with it is Teven. Broncos a bit fortunate there. Manly got themselves in a bit of trouble by uh, really taking uh, an unusual option. They went back out the other way. The obvious pass was the one. Uh, Miles has lost the ball. He's hurt in the tackle, is he? What? No. He's just pleading with the referee. Uh, thinking the ball had been stolen. Let's have a look at it over the top. Pretty heavy tackle. Looks like Haggard. There's Lyons in there doing plenty of work. Miles gets up. Once again, the ball knocked out. Referees aren't uh, close enough to the play these days. They stand back on the five metres to watch the uh, the offside. Well, that means that Manly get possession, of course. And this is Lyons. Lyons getting it away to O'Connor. O'Connor outside of Williams. Williams push away the tackle of uh, Johns. Now he's working up the touch line. Coming across his team and back inside it goes. They've lost it, Manly. It's going to be picked up O'Connor. Knock on for sure. Gee, we see the damaging run there of uh, big uh, Daryl Williams, the Kiwi International, brushed away from Chris Johns initially. Here he is. Johns was in good position to make the tackle. He just brushed away from him. Williams wasn't finished then. Hancock was turned inside out. Didn't know whether to follow his winger or take the man on the outside. Tebert finally came back to make the tackle. Knocked on there by uh, Austin, I think it was. And the Broncos have won the loose head and feed and the scrum. So it's going to be away from that um, wing over there. Hancock running around. Hasler had a hold of him, but eventually slipped to the ground. And it's going to be claimed up there. Walters sending it away to Dowling. Dowling charging up to the quarter line. The crowd giving him a rev every time he gets it. Uh, that's um, Tessman working across field. And they're roughing him up pretty well too. Gately finishes him off. Bound to play it now. Walters from dummy half away to Alan Langer. Then outside to Lewis. Lewis dummy straight ahead. Almost got away from the tackle, but didn't. So eventually pulled to the ground up there by Haggart. Here's Gene Miles. Miles bustling his way through. Haggart the tackler again. Final tackle's on its way as Walters will take it up there as the dummy half. Look for a big kick from Lewis here. Downfield. It'll go straight to the winger, though. Coming around over there is Austin. Langer comes at Austin. Nice tackle there by the little halfback. And now he's uh, Austin getting up to play it. Dwyer away from dummy half. He slipped up the centre there. Couple of metres short of the halfway mark now. Haggard will be the dummy half. Sending it across over there to Broken Shire coming through. Manly about five metres inside Broncos territory. Away to Hasler, outside to Lyons, then back inside to Noel Cleal. About the first time I think we've seen Cleal in the match so far. That's the set piece they use. They build a couple of passes off the ruck. Cleal going back the other way. So away from dummy half, it'll be Haggard sending it to Lyons, who goes on a bit of a sortie across field, but doesn't get well, he gets his pass away. That's the main thing for Manley. Crusher Cleal keeps it alive too. Back to Dwyer. Uh, Lewis up there, and eventually Tessman comes in, and also Miles. So they'll wrap him up right on the halfway mark, and the final tackle's on its way. 
So Haggard will swing it away this time to O'Connor with a little kick forward. Duffy coming up to it. O'Connor tried to take it on the toe. He did well, Duffy. He was under a bit of pressure all the way around. Well, O'Connor very dangerous. Just put the little kick through for himself there to try and regain. Almost did. Hancock up to about 10 metres short of that halfway mark now. He'll play it. Walter's dummy half decides to have a little bit of a run himself. In over the top is Wharton. The man underneath up there on that occasion was Haggard, who's done a fair amount of work there for Manly today. This is Tessman. Nine tackles by Haggard, so he is... Uh, well, there's only ten minutes to the match gone, so he's getting really wrapped up in it. Dowling getting it outside to Lewis. Lewis away over there this time to Teban coming through, but he's barreled over ball and all in the tackle. That's Williams getting him. Dowling away from dummy half to Lewis on the blind side. A big kick straight up centre. And it's bouncing back into the in-goal area. It's called uh, Chris Johns offside. Austin... Austin working across field, but Alan Langer with a nice tackle again to put him over. Gee, he's been spot on there today, Alan Langer. Couple of really big ones. The difference we fight, of course, if he does that at Lang Park, the crowd go wild. But here, of course, at Brookvale Oval, um, there's hardly a murmur, but that's to be expected. This is Gately bringing it up. He's 20 metres out now from the Manly Warringah line. And it's Haggard that goes into dummy half. Manly in possession. No score in the uh, match so far. That's a driving tackle from Madison on Hasler. I've been very impressed so far in the first half how hard Gately's hit the line, David. Yeah, the Manly forwards just seem to have a slight advantage over the Broncos. But no, that's a knock on. No doubt about that. Referee Mick Stone, correct decision. Always an awkward one, that one for Duffy. It was coming down over his shoulder, a very high ball. Let's have a look at it. He positioned himself nicely underneath it. Just went uh, forward, propelled toward uh, his opponent's try line. Knock on, chance for Manly. Manly loose head and feed. So the Broncos have come up with four handling errors in a half that's just 11 minutes old so far. Scrum win, floating pass over the top that's put pressure on O'Connor. But he's going to get away from the standing start, as Lyons did on that occasion. That's poor defence by the Broncos. Finally wrapped up by Chris John Centerfield, just inside Brisbane's end of the ground. That's Vorton, as Billy mentioned, playing his 200th grade game for the Manly Club this afternoon. Haggett is the man of dummy half, going open side with Daly, and the big test prop goes... Upfield, got the pass Great away pass. to Haggett. Good backing up by Haggett. Picked it up off his knees. Now they move again. It was Gately that gave it to Hasler. It goes out to Lyons. There's Cleal. Cleal inside the corner. Flick pass inside. It wasn't on. And here's the chance now for the Broncos to counter-attack. Jeez, what a bust by uh, Big Noel. Clearly so dangerous when he gets out wide. There's the big fellow. Beautiful pass too by Cliff Lyons to put him away. They really done the damage. He didn't look for the flick pass. Picked up beautifully by Garrett Wallace. Out wide, it's on. Here we go. There's Teven up towards halfway. Support Can on run. the outside. Teven still going. Great pace by Teven. He's over the corner, but taken beautifully by Hasler. Kept the oh, ball alive. Picked up beautifully. So it's Grant Bricks. Plays the ball eight metres out. It's the Broncos on the move. It's Langer. Langer this time out to Madison. going to be offside, Manly. They cannot possibly be inside the five. There's Dowling. And Dowling taken five metres short. So Manly are well offside. Greg Austin in particular. Mick Stone must be blind. There's the pass. Good pass for Miles. Lewis. And Lewis has gone over for the try. And Broncos have drawn first blood. They lead by four points to nil. And the crowd not all that happy, but the Broncos are ecstatic. The dynamic duo. Broncos nearly had a try scored against them down the other end of the field. Struck back beautifully. Teeman made a good run. Look at these two work in tandem. Miles popped it up to Lewis. The key there is once you put it up, there's plenty of time for the following player to get the ball. Had he just dropped it down at his feet, Lewis would have to rush things. Look at Miles on the surge. Loves to run off Wally Lewis, then pop it up. Lewis in position, just took it in one hand, strolled across and put it down. What a great effort from the Broncos to hit back strongly. Lewis to Miles, hits the line strongly, pop it up. That's the key. Lewis on the spot, wax it down so easy. Yeah, very well executed there on that occasion, you betcha. But what about the speed of Rowan Teeban? By golly, that was a good run. He's a quickie, all right. He was just caught. Good cover defence from Hasler. Uh, looked like a, uh, a silly pass at one stage. Grant Ricks took it beautifully. And then uh, a couple of quick play the balls. Manly were never on side. But the Broncos, it didn't matter. The class of those two, Miles and Lewis, made sure four points was on offer. This fellow can see if he can make it six points. Well, Terry Madison in that first game, you may remember a brilliant start in his debut match in the Winfield Cup in first grade, 24 points. On that particular occasion, he kicked uh, eight goals, scored two tries, and his tally for the season currently is 124. Can he make it 126? He certainly has, and the Broncos are in the lead here at Brookvale. They lead Manly Baringa by six points to nil. So as we welcome you back to Brookvale Oval, the home of the Manly Sea Eagles, that's the start, Terry Kennedy, that the Broncos were after. 
That did look quite ominous there early in the uh, first 10 minutes. Manly were on a big roll on their forwards. Not only are making some big hits, but also making big ground up the ruck. But uh, how often do you see it when a team attacks and attack? As soon as the opposition gets the ball, uh, they score a try. Well, I agree with uh, Billy J. Smith. He can put it down because the try was actually conceived in the early part by uh, Rowan Teaven with that tremendous bust. And all of a sudden, uh, Wayne Bennett there on the sideline with uh, a great start here against Manly Baringa. Important now for the Broncos to go on with the job. Quite often when they have uh, scored points, they then let the opposition straight back in. And, of course, uh, it's important now that they put multiple tries on. You can't afford to let them score one straight off. There's Dowling turning it back for Langer. Langer went on the outside of Haggart. He's up to towards the halfway line, floating pass and a beautiful one for Ricks, but he's spilt the ball, dived on by Teaven, but the ball's gone forward, and that will give loose head and feet once again to man the Baringa inside the Broncos territory. Alan Langer was through, he, all he had to do was keep going himself, there's no way Cleo would have closed in on him, he fired the long one over the top, Ricks took it, but a big tackle, that one by Rapati, knocks it clear. So the Manly Pack have affected 41 tackles in this half, but the Broncos lead by 6 to nil. there's Williams, he made a telling run early, there's a good leaking up by uh, Dwyer, but Dwyer's wrapped up in the tackle by Chris Johns and pulled the ground about eight metres. The swinging arm came in from Dwyer as well. There's O'Connor, held the pass up. Hancock finally picks it up for the Broncos. So really the uh, the handling errors by Manly have been a telling blow to them because they've been on attack several times but haven't been able to convert it into points. Yes, they've made those couple of mistakes. There's been bad passes involved in them too, but Manly want to tidy up their game in greasy conditions. Here at Walters in the side today for Greg Canescu. And finally, the Manly side caught well inside the five. And the penalty will see Wally Lewis drive the play up towards the Manly 22. Noticeable from those scrums that Cliff Lyons are standing very, very wide uh, from the scrums to try and get as much room as he can for his outside backs. And that's giving opportunities for fellas like Dewire and uh, Williams to get uh, on the outside of their opposition. Cap restart on the 22. Dowling, who's really involved himself, but he's lost the ball on tackle number one. Mistakes they can ill afford if they want to protect this 6-0 lead. So it's Manly back in possession. Gately got the pass away, Williams. Williams taken in the tackle. In fact, it's Rapati, the left winger, and this time a penalty goes against the Broncos. So once again, they squander that territory down inside the Seagulls 22. Yeah, second time they've been caught for holding down, and uh, Tim DeWire now with a chance to do it the easy way, to get Manly out. But a uh, bad mistake from uh, Greg Dowling. They've taken the tap 15 metres out from the try line. Good opportunity to put more pressure on. Lost it in the first tackle. A big one from this fellow, Daly. Let's see if we can return the favour. So the big test pop takes it up midway between the half of the 22. It's still in Manly's end of the ground. They trail by six points. It's Gately. And this Manly side have been very methodical with their uh, working away from the edge of that ruck. And they've got plenty of big men to try and uh, cause some havoc. And there's a pass again from Cleo. Clever play by Manly Moringa. But Lyons has finally wrapped up 10 metres inside Brisbane's end of the ground. He plays the ball quickly. It goes to Hasler, to the captain, Vorton. And a player's been decked in back play from Manly, and I think it was by Gene Miles. No movement from the touch judge at this stage. Did you see it, Terry Kennedy? It was definitely Gene Miles involved in the incident, but uh, I Forward. think it might be Cliff Lyons is down. OK, so they move. That's Dwyer. The player at Eastcliff Lines hasn't moved. Touch judge won't come on when there's an attack on by Manly. They're sure to come on the next break of play. There's that corner. That's a beautiful pass for Austin. The little kick and chase. Hancock held back. That should be a penalty. Well, it's got to be. It's got to be a penalty. And finally, Mick Stone has awarded it. Good refereeing by Mick Stone. He could easily have uh, turned some blind eye. It'll be interesting to see now what his decision is. A touch judge still hasn't come on. Lines is down. Neither touch judge has seen the incident in back play. Have a look at this one, though. When Austin put a good little kick through, uh, Hancock uh, certainly t uh, tugged out of the road as he tried to get the ball. So, Jeff Lyons is to his feet. Miles got the pass to Lewis. They elected to take the tap on that occasion for the penalty. Uh, no, very little uh, angle for Lewis to work with, but now Tessman hits it up towards the 22. Solid defence once again by Manly Moringa. Penalties have gone Brisbane's way 4-2 in this first half. We've had on just on 18 minutes of play. Dowling only idling up there. He's got to get a bit more steam up. Langer, the little kick and chase. Langer's into open space. Haslow, oh, that's oh, brilliant beautiful. play. That's tremendous play by Des Hasler. The danger of kicking uh, short inside your own territory. Let's see if Manley can uh, kick the Broncos up from That's tremendous stuff. That's really brave play by Des Hasler. They lost it. So Brisbane come up with possession of the ball. Grant Ricks made about five or six metres and brought it up to with about eight metres of the halfway line. 
Miles, oh, bulldog to the ground by Des Hasler. Blind side is Madison. Once again, it's Hasler affecting the tackle. Hasler's been uh, the versatile man in the side in 88 in the last few weeks. Has played at halfback, 5'8 and lock, and now back at halfback for this match. That's nicely taken by DeWire. It wasn't the best of kicks from Wally Lewis. Today they're using the synthetic balls, though, Terry Kennedy, the wet weather balls. Using the uh, wet weather balls, David Fordham, and uh, we've seen in past oh, matches sorry. that the synthetic balls are very hard to kick. Kennedy goes to Manly Moringa, the Broncos caught offside, and so touch judge in from the far side. And who's going to be called out? It appears that Gene Miles is late. <laughs> Very well, late. he's not going to talk about the Lions incident, surely. You wouldn't think so. It's been a long time coming. He had a stoppage of play uh, that he could have come in on. Of course, the referee had already awarded a penalty to the Broncos at that stage, so maybe he felt that the um, that uh, it would, wouldn't have affected any of the referee's decisions. But a caution on there for Gene Miles. I just wonder if the crowd on the far side of Brookvale able to... I reckon they've told him. They've dead set, told him. They sent a note down <laughs> and someone read it to him. <laughs> So the tap restart. Manly bring in possession of the ball at six points to Dill. The Broncos leading the game and Billy but right at the halfway mark of a very entertaining first half. You betcha. And uh, it's Manly in possession now. That's Haggard getting it back inside. Uh, coming up this time. Haggard again. He got it outside over there to Brokenshaw, but eventually he's uh, wrapped up. He's been very prominent. So too is this fellow Gately. Oh, now another good. penalty coming up. Well, plenty of encouragement from the uh, crowd here to ensure that uh, Mick Stone doesn't miss any offside uh, penalties. And he hasn't missed this one. That's two in a row now for uh, Manly. An opportunity for them to go deep on attack. Something they haven't applied a lot of concerted pressure to the Broncos with their backs to the wall. And the couple of times they looked like doing it, handling uh, brought them undone. Yeah, they've played a pretty flashy brand of football. They've been prepared to uh, throw the ball around, flick passes, uh, uh, kept the ball alive pretty well. They've troubled the Broncos, but they brought themselves unstuck. Set right. move coming up. Just inside the Broncos quarter line, this is Lyons working his way across fields. Pass comes back to no one, and it's dived on by Tess, but once again, they come undone. Yeah, too flashy, Manly. They're trying to score off every action. Of course, they are a very good side once they click, but they're not uh, doing that at the moment, and that's exactly what the Broncos are going to do capitalise while Manly are playing poorly. They won't play poorly for 80 minutes. That's Walters coming up the centre there. Langer will be the dummy half now. Played forward by Walters. Decides to go himself. Still going well. He's very tricky away from that dummy half spot. And uh, also then, of course, on that occasion, he stole about another 10 or 12 metres. Reads the game well. So here's Wally with a boot underneath it. Back between Austin and uh, also uh, the fullback back there in Dwyer. But Austin's going to be the first one there. Johns and also Brent LeMann across to wrap him up. No penalties now, the Broncos. They've given penalties away the last couple of times to let Manly out of their own territory. Just want to play it tight, keep Manly trapped and force them to kick. That's Rapati getting up to play it now. Watch out, Dowling. Take it easy there, my boy. Back over there to Fatty Wharton. Wharton straight ahead. There's a crunching tackle as Tessman came at him. Dowling getting into it and also across there, Terry Madison. Tessman's worked very hard. He's been the first up tackler on a number of times. Haslam. Oh, tackle oh, nice on the tackle. number seven. Nice one there by Alan Langer. Two of them have uh, kept tabs on each other pretty well so far. Here's Lyon sending it back inside to Crusher Cleal. Tackle by Dowling. They've got the pass back to Dwyer. But once again, uh, it's the good tackle coming in there by Big Tessman. Lyons getting it away to O'Connor. O'Connor a little kick through. Ball rolling loose at this stage. Towed through there by Austin. O'Connor's out after it. Duffy's got to get back over there, but it's going to be O'Connor going for it. Austin did the right thing. He kept Duffy out of the road. And it's Manly Moringa in for their first try of the match. Unbelievable try that. Once Michael O'Connor puts the ball on his boot, he's then got it on a string. We saw there that O'Connor put the little chip kick over. Broncos didn't attack the ball here. The, the ball had gone barely over the defensive line. Someone should have had a go at it. There was players there who just stood and looked. It should have either been Hancock or Dowling. As soon as it hit the deck, it was an opportunity for Austin to put it through. And then Michael O'Connor, the ball just stayed inside the field of play. Michael O'Connor with sheer pace, races after it. That's his 12th try for the uh, season. Here it is again, a little chip over the top. Broncos must take the ball. You can't afford to let it land on the ground. And then Austin, the first man to it, controlled it by not going out, outside the field of play. At one stage, it looked like it could have gone across the touchline. Perfect length, though, and Michael O'Connor first to the ball. Kerrod Walters called out by the referee on a touch judge report while uh, that was going on. And here's Michael O'Connor attempting to convert his own try. O'Connor at this stage, 46 goals. 140 points so far. 
for the season. And you can leave it at 140. He's hooked it well across the front of the upright. So the score remains. The Brisbane Broncos leading Manly by six points to four. Terry Madison back on the halfway mark, ready to restart playing at this stage. We have just uh, 17 minutes remaining in this first half of the match. A little bit sticky out in the centre there, as we said, from some rain earlier today, but uh, looks as though it's gone away. It's still quite a hazy day in Sydney here the, uh, this afternoon. Very typical of English weather, Dave. Certainly is, and um, the Broncos are going to have to make sure they keep their mind on the job now. With the conditions such as they are, it's going to be a fairly chancy sort of game. There won't be many opportunities. They'll often come from errors, so the Broncos are going to have to watch their play and also keep a very close eye on the kicking game of Michael O'Connor, who noticeably has kicked short a number of times. That's Wharton with a tackle by Wally Lewis. The dummy half waiting for it is Haggett, sending it across to Hasler, outside to Lyons. Lyons prop sends it back inside. Hasn't done much running around today, Cliff Lyons. He's got players coming off him either way. He's looking inside and out. Here he goes again. Lyons shapes for the kick. He does kick on this occasion. A little bit off the side of the boot. Duffy going back there. He's going to grab it. But immediately he will be grabbed by Hasler and pulled to the ground. He'll get up to play it. Once again, uh, we see Manley kicking short as Hancock goes cross field. He straightens it up, got away from the tackle of Lyons. Doesn't get away from the next one, though. It'll be Gately up there to get him. Dummy half is Walters. Tries to push away the tackle, but Gately's coming at him, and also Haggett. Alan Langer takes over as dummy half now. Way to Gene Miles. Gino crashing up the centre. Bounces off Daly, but eventually going to be claimed. Walters again, back over there to Langer, to Lewis. Lewis with a pass on this time to Johns coming back inside. But the Manly defence holding up pretty well. This is the final tackle. We'll look for Madison to send it to Lewis. He turns it back inside to Big Gino. Over the top it goes, but it's straight over the top of Hancock and into touch. Well, Lewis not impressed. He elected not to kick on that uh, left-hand side. He, he found uh, Gene Miles on the inside. Four pass from Miles. The idea wasn't too bad. Lewis had become free just in behind him. Hancock had no chance of getting it. Manly off the hook. Hasler sending it across over there to Lyons. Once again, standing very wide at the base of the scrum. That's Williams with it. Lewis is almost going to steal this off him. I'm Yeah, he was trying very, very hard to do it, but he didn't. Uh, he'll play it now. Lions back over there this time to Dwyer, who's been in just about everything so far in this match. Been heavily involved and uh, looked uh, quite dangerous. This is Haggett as dummy half. It's to Hasler. Hasler outside to Noel Cleal, standing wide. Lewis takes him ball and all, but he bounces out of it, starts to go again, but Tessman with another big one to put him over. And also Dowling uh, involved in that tackle, but Tessman's been showing them how to do it. This is Lions again. Uh, swings it away to Vorton. Back inside it goes to Gately. Gately's going to be locked up. He's lost the ball in the tackle. It'll be picked up over there by Kieran Walters. Walters straight ahead, but he'll be wrapped up. He's 30 metres out now from the Manly nine. Langer from dummy half. Getting it across over there to Grant Ricks coming across from the wing. Dummy half, Walters. Over then this time to Dowling. Dowling charging up the centre. Gately comes at him. Haggett's there. Daly in over the top. They're all at him. Well, Dowling was the one who was critical of them, and he's uh, getting his own back now. Lewis turning it back inside, Teven. Teven will be taken by Hasler. The dummy half is Matteson, sends it back to Alan Langer. Langer passes it on this occasion, eventually ending up over there with Duffy coming outside of Gene Miles. Duffy very hard to pull down. He was fighting his way for the next couple of metres. Now, this is the final tackle. Let's see what happens as Langer takes it. The little kick, but it bounces off a Manly player, but Manly will end up with it. They'll end up a little away from dummy half goes Crusher Cleal. Cleal is locked up about 20 metres out from the Manly line. Away from dummy half, it is Williams. Pushed away the first tackle, that of Tessman. Got away from Lewis, doesn't get away from Johns and LeMann. He'll play it just inside the quarter line. Haggett back over there this time to Dwyer. Dwyer will be wrapped up, ball and all, just uh, still inside the quarter line. Haggett dummy half to Hasler. Lyons. Lions props, cuts back inside, but gets his pass to Gately. Gately got away to Hasler. Hasler working across field, looking for some support, finds Fatty Borton. Borton in turn is going to be wrapped up. Final tackle. Now let's see where it goes. Over to Dwyer. Dwyer's going to put the boot underneath it. Hancock back there to take it. Props and turns around and starts to run. He finds Austin in front of him. Decided to try and cut back inside because he's in danger of being forced into touch as Williams came at him. So did Haggett, and the referee called hell just about a half a metre before Haggett got there, so he pulled out of the uh, big hit. That's Duffy getting up to the halfway mark now. Six points to four. The Broncos lead Manly. This is Gene Miles up the centre till he was confronted by Daly. 
Brokenshire trying to steal the ball. This is Langer to Tessman. Tessman straight ahead. Haslam, Vorton over there. Should be more of that by the Broncos. Getting the big men out wide. I think Miles will do more damage with at least one pass off the ruck. That's Dowling going through. Look at the big fella go. He's up over the quarter line. Back inside it to uh, Brett LeMann. He'll get away to Madison. And here's try number two for the Brisbane Broncos. And it started exactly as you said with one of the big men out wide. That's where the damage can be done. We're trying to take it up the middle too often. Admittedly, it might have held Manly in close. And then Dowling, what a good run. The dummy, the two hands out in front. One player went straight past him. And then good backup support. Brett LeMann, who played in the first game for the Broncos, just uh, been back a couple of weeks now. He scored the first try for the Broncos in that match. And Terry Madison, good backing up play. One of the features of his play is his backup. Look at Dowling, the dummy, straight through the ruck. Good backup on the inside. Then Brett LeMann made good ground to get there. The cover defence from Manly, not good enough. And then straight up the middle comes Madison to put it down under the sticks. Broncos playing well. Yeah, that was a nice bit of work there. What about uh, Dowling after the dummy turned on the turbo? Yeah, he's got a little bit of pace, Dowling, and uh, certainly uh, he's got a point to prove to these fellows when he was highly critical of Manly, and he'll enjoy that. Nothing more. There's the big fellow having a bit of a splash around with a bit of water, and uh, that'll do his confidence uh, the world of good. We're sure to see Dowling now take the ball up uh, plenty more times. All right, so that's Terry Madison lining up to uh, have the shot at goal to convert the try. Ten minutes remaining in this uh, first half, so the idea is, of course, if they can go in with a 12-4 lead at the half time break it's been a very good uh, 40 minutes of football for them yep. with these two uh, teams uh, anything can happen then in the next uh, 10 minutes so the broncos need to secure the possession for the next six tackles and did it right there too five minutes after the uh, the o'connor try they've hit back to get into the scoring action so here's terry madison lining up he's dead set in front shouldn't be too much trouble for him and it is not so the score now brisbane broncos 12 manly ringer four and doesn't this fellow like playing against uh, Manly Warringah so far this season? He scored three tries and kicked ten goals. He had a 24-point haul, as I mentioned earlier in that first game. But, gee, Greg Dowling, uh, that was tremendous play to set that try up. And full credit to Brett LeMann, who backed up superbly on the inside and set Madison on his way. So it's an eight-point lead by the Broncos going into the final ten minutes before halftime. This is a crucial stage for both teams. And Duffy hits it up to the quarter line. So the player's set there. We have... The Broncos camped inside their own quarter. In there leading the defensive charge was Gately. Duffy plays the ball. Out for Matteson, that's for Tessman. So the first 30 minutes of this half has been dotted with three tries. There's Dowling again. That's a good run by the prop four to get unloading it beautifully for Walters. Now Leman. Oh, that's a bad blunder by Johns. Towed through by the every alert Michael O'Connor. But the ball goes into touch that should come back 20 metres back upfield for the knock on. And Michael O'Connor suggesting he should do that. Uh, after the ball's gone into touch, of course, it would have been loose head and feed. But the referee playing the initial infringement, that was the knock forward. So the Broncos have only fed <laughs> one scrum so far in uh, the half that's 32 minutes old. That's a manly ball, Lions. Lewis has done a good job on Lions, but I've noticed uh, throughout the first half he has been. Uh, Pushed away from quite a few uh, tackle, attempted tackles, David. Yeah, Darrell Williams has caused plenty of trouble uh, out wide, and uh, Lewis, and also uh, uh, on clear, Lewis has had a bit of trouble. There's the kick through. Oh, look at the pace of O'Connor, putting pressure on both Duffy and also Hancock, but Duffy did well on this occasion. Well, he took the odds, too, to go down on the ball. Uh, I, I thought that uh, maybe the kick under enormous pressure from Michael O'Connor. There's a kick through by Cleal, one where he didn't stand square on, so a penalty has gone to the Broncos. Good opportunity to, for them to relieve a bit of pressure and take a breather. <laughs> I think the breather is pretty important at the moment. <laughs> See, that was good effort by Duffy, though, to go down. He was under enormous pressure from Michael O'Connor. But uh, that little kicking game by Manly, they've scored a try from a kick and they've caused the Broncos plenty of trouble every time they put it on the turf. So Big Tessman, who's had a strong first half so far, Excellent. sets it up midway between the half, the 22 at the Broncos' end of the ground. Darling. Well, he's, he's loving it out there today, isn't yeah. he? He started a bit slowly, but I think that try, uh, setting up the try, has given him great confidence. And that's a plus for the Broncos. I can assure you of that. That's Walters. I'll tell you what I'd like to see him do, David, is uh, protect that head a bit. He runs with that head cocked high on the yep. air. Someone's going to take it right off his shoulders one day. Very erect action. Uh, but uh, I also think that possibly he tries to do just a little bit too much from, uh, from the dummy half. Now, Lewis, kick over the top. It's going down towards the wire inside his own quarter. So the Lewis kicking game has not been up to uh, its normal excellence. Neither has his defence there today. That's the fourth missed tackle by Wally Lewis. Hasler. 
That's a big run by Rapati, who's come in from the wing looking for work. What a tackle by Lamain. Cleal, blind side, stood in the tackle. This time Lewis wraps him up, ball and all. So all of a sudden the chance of Brookvale are going out to McStone again to get the Broncos back on side. Cliff Lyon spills the ball. That was good pressure by the Broncos moving out quickly on that uh, manly three-quarter line. Dowling brings it inside the 22. They're setting it up. Options either side. Walters goes the blind side with Miles. Gee, another try now to the Broncos would put them in great position. Keep going forward. Lewis has camped himself on the blind side. Walters goes open through Langer and then to Tessman. Tried to turn his back on the opposition. Stood in the tackle. Lyons and Hasler affecting it up high. Langer goes away from dummy half. Looks for Lewis. Lewis turned it back in field. That's Laman. Laman into open space. He's going for the line. And that's the third try to the Broncos. They lead by 16 points to four. And what a crucial time. Just five minutes before the halftime break. Great work from Brett Laman. We've seen him being a tackling machine in recent weeks as he's got his confidence back after being injured by Manly. Now we're seeing his prowess in attack. Good work from Lewis to back inside to uh, Laman. He had to do a lot of work to break away from Hazel. That's not easy. And then just enough pace to get across the try line. Langer out of dummy half. Straight to Lewis, the playmaker. Back inside, Laman had to juggle. Uh, step past one. Pushed off Hasler. Not an easy task at all. And then enough determination to get across the try line. Well, Billy, one thing that's uh, been evident so far, each of the tries of the Broncos has come from great support play. Yes, they're doing it well at this stage and playing with a bit of confidence now, and uh, this will be great for them. But that's Laman. Good work. He, that initial pushing away of Hasler and then uh, fighting for that line and getting there. Good stuff. Well, I think from memory now, Brett Laman has scored in his last three outings since coming back from injury. He scored against uh, St George. He scored against Canterbury. You think he's enjoying himself? <laughs> <laughs> Give me more. So 16 points to four so far. Terry Madison has kicked uh, two goals from two attempts. And a chance now to put the Broncos in the lead by 14 points. And that's a big margin. I get the feeling we're the only three people in this grandstand that are smiling at the moment. I think we Look, should close that door. Though. I think so. <laughs> Terry, uh, it's been very quiet down on the touchline. It has, but I made the big mistake of jumping up when that try was scored, and I copped a fair bit of abuse from the people behind me, so I think I might just have to lay low for a while. Here's the kick. There's the kick from Madison. He's made... No, he hasn't made it. Three from three, two from three, and the Broncos lead by 12 points. They lead 16 points to four, and we're into the final five minutes before halftime. Well, Brett Lemann playing uh, an important role in the game so far. He was the uh, man to offload the ball, the link man when Dowling made his break for the previous try. This occasion he showed some good evasion skills to go up the middle of the ruck. There's the restart of play by Michael O'Connor. Ball bouncing out wide. It's picked up by Gene Miles. Plenty of room to build up a bit of momentum. Takes it beyond the 22. And look at that uh, defensive manly coming in in threes and fours. But the big fellow still stood his ground. Madison. Sign of a good side now and... Uh, Let's hope the Broncos are a good side as not to let Manly back in in this half. There's Tessman. They'll be trying to keep the ball down uh, the other end of the ground. Tessman hugging the ball to his chest, making sure he doesn't lose possession. There's Dowling. Good football. That's all we want. Just plug away up the middle, get them back down inside their own territory. And then we'll see the kicking game of Lewis and Langer come into play. There's Langer. He'll lower. Oh, beautiful dummy by Langer. He's into open space. The support on the inside is Walters. Walters inside the quarter line, floating pass. It'll bounce for Hancock, and he redeems it. Now does Lewis. Lewis still keeps the ball alive. Support on the inside is Tessman. And Manley's defence is shot to pieces at the moment. Walters is down injured. Fifth tackle. Final tackle. Tessman plays the ball. They're going to move it wide. It goes out through Langer. Langer, long floating pass. There's the gap. Teven. Support on the outside. Teven went on the outside of his man, but threw the pass to Grant Ricks. And Ricks... Throws it over the touchline. Well, will the referee award the sixth tackle here or an intentional throw out? Looks like he's going to pack a scrum. Ricks is somewhat fortunate there. Certainly he knew what he wanted to do. Teven, I thought, could have made a bit more of this. Williams did well to uh, angle him toward the touchline. Teven at the last minute tried to pass the ball up to Ricks. Ricks not in the position to take it. And then realising it was the sixth tackle, just knocked it into touch. That's a manly scrub win. Lions. Broncos that want to watch the kick and chase now. Rapati building it up, still inside the quarter. Matro Connor opening it up for Gately. Gee, this fellow's improved in the last 12 months. He's lost a lot of weight in the off-season, but he certainly hasn't lost any strength. 
much fitter than he was at this stage of the season last year. Lyons with the wraparound with Hasler for Vorton. Vorton's well wrapped up by Chris Johnson, driven back. That's good stuff by the Broncos. That's important. They camped them down inside this 22. Broken Shire. Oh, that's a good bus by Broken Shire. No one in behind the line on the fifth tackle, though, as Langer just drops back now. Out for Lyons. Turning it back. Oh, that's the beautiful dummy from Lyons. Backing up is Haggart. Haggart's up over the halfway line. Pass over the top. It's dived on by Mainly Moringa. It's loose on the ground again. Six tackle, though. Now's Vorton. Vorton looked to kick. Now he does. Good one. Duffy planting himself under it, and he took it well under pressure. Got away from the tackle of O'Connor and takes it up midway between the half and the 22, but still at the Broncos' end of the ground. Loss of penalty. possession and a penalty. Still in the ball, and Duffy's pretty happy. He gives a good clap at the hands. Manly knew they desperately needed possession in the dying seconds of the first half. Here it is, Duffy, one of the safest players around, well and truly taken on the ground. Flick out by either Rapati or Lyons. A chance now. Lewis finds touch. And I'll be surprised if they don't just shut it down now for the first half. No need to put the ball in the air. The lead is there. Grant Ricks will take the tackle. And so the Broncos quite unexpectedly go to the lead. And to the halftime break with a fabulous lead here at Brookvale Oval. They've scored three tries to one. But this manly side, don't write them off. There's an exciting final 40 minutes coming up. Don't leave us. We'll be back in a moment from Brookvale Oval in Sydney for the halftime score. The Broncos 16, Manly Moringa 4. Back for the second half of the match and the Broncos with a handy half-time lead of 16 points to four. There's been one change in the Manly team at the half-time break and Glenn Ryan comes into the side in place of Phil Daly. So Gately obviously will go to front row and Ryan will move into the second row and Terry Kennedy will tell us the extent of injury to Daly. I think what got through 16 tackles in that first half for Manly Warringah. So their forwards had to do a ton of work in that first half. So the Broncos in possession and it's Walter's dummy half back to Tessman who really carted it up to Manly in the first half. And uh, he uh, did the job extremely well. So now it's back to Gene Miles. Miles has lost it, though. It'll go straight in the hands of Broken Shire. Over to Gately. Gately wrapped up five metres inside Broncos territory. Lions to dummy half. That's Ryan, the replacement player, straight ahead. Tackled by Walters. Dummy half is uh, Haggart. Haggart sending it across to Gately. Haggart waits back as dummy half. Over to Hasler. Outside to Lyons. Coming back inside this time to Rapati. Rapati bustling through. Tackled by Miles. So now back over there to Lyons again. Lyons working across field to Hasler. They're not quite sure who's going where at the moment. The defence from the Broncos. They moved up in a straight line. The switch of play didn't do any good for Manly. Last tackle. Lyons getting it away to Dwyer. Dwyer with a big high kick back over the head of Duffy. Duffy's racing back. It bounces off his chin, I would say it was. Now he slips. Can he get on the field of play? He can. Just got away from Cliff Lyons. And he was injured there. Knee seemed to come over the top there. The second man into the tackle. Nick Stone isn't going to stop play. He's going to ask uh, someone else to play the ball as he goes there and plucks it out of uh, Duffy's arms and asks the Broncos to come over and play it. I think Duffy's in a bit of trouble and he really, uh, I think, is asking a hell of a lot of the Broncos here to uh, ask them to play on. Duffy hasn't moved and it was a knee in the back. I don't think this is good refereeing by Mick Stone. He has got the option to stop play. Kenny Ra there now uh, treating uh, Duffy. There he is. Now, Kenny Ra will signal to the referee if he wants assistance. Uh, a little bit of movement there from uh, Duffy, but not a great deal. Meanwhile, the Broncos in possession, and that's uh, Dowling taking it up to the quarter line. Waiting uh, up there is dummy half Walters, sending it back to... Langer, Langer outside then to Johns. Johns to about 30 metres out now from the Broncos line. Final tackle back to Wally Lewis. Lewis shapes with a kick, puts it up. Not a big long one this time, but coming back there to Rapati. Rapati will take it. He turns around, starts to go. But backed over into the fence there. G Miles taking him head on. And also up there this time is Madison. Rapati working away there. Colin Scott warming up or getting ready to come onto the field. But Duffy's back onto his feet at this stage. That's O'Connor. Gets it back to Haggart. Haggard's going to be wrapped up by Lewis and also Madison. They're a couple of metres inside their own territory at this stage. Uh, Manly Warringah will stay with it at the moment. They've lost it. That's Tessman diving on it. And so Broncos have got possession. Terry Kennedy down on the touchline with, I would imagine, a very happy general manager of the Brisbane Broncos, John Rebo. Yes, John Rebo spent many happy years here, but uh, he's got a big smile on his face with the score 16-4 at halftime. What did Wayne Bennett have to say, John? 
Well, he said it's not a half out here. It's nil all, and we're going to go out there and play as committed as we did in the first half, and we'll get away with the two points. Obviously, uh, very impressed with the 16-4 lead. Instructions just to keep the ball down in Manly's territory? Very much so. He also made special mention the way uh, Greg Dowling and Andrew Testman are going today. They're playing very well and telling the boys to keep supporting them and we'll get away with the two points. Alan Lang is probably having a good game too. Oh, yes. Alan Elf has got a bit to prove out there and he wants to play well and uh, it's a welcome back to form for him. John Rebo, thanks very much for your time. Okay. All and right, so it's Manly ending up with possession there. An attacking kick, that one from Wally Lewis, where I th really think it needed to be a defensive one to keep Manny pinned back down. He went for the little chip over the top to try and uh, get a uh, Broncos player running onto it. So now it's uh, Haggard turning it back over there to Cleal. Cleal up the centre, but here's Dowling coming out after him. Tell you what, if he was a racehorse, he'd have M beside his name, <laughs> wouldn't he? He's a dead set mud runner. Loves it. So back over there this time to Broken Oh, Char. so does this fellow. Hasn't he come of age this year, Andrew Tessman? My word he has. He's uh, going from strength to strength. Haggard is dummy half. Back over there to Dwyer. Dwyer putting the boot underneath it, but going back to take it well, nicely is Michael Hancock. He's found a penalty out of this, and I tell you what, he'd have to be looking very, very hard to find it. Andrew Tessman was running at uh, Tim Dwyer. Let's have a look at it. There's Dwyer. Andrew Tessman came out of marker and just sort of ran into him. Well, probably a touch late. Stone didn't miss it and a penalty going to Manly just the opportunity they wanted as we see Tessman getting a lecture just a little bit too keen he made a good tackle the one prior to that just a little bit too g'd up and Manly with a great opportunity to hit back early in the second half yes they'll take the tap now and back it goes there to Broken Char Broken Char working it up but uh, he's knocked over about eight meters out the crowd starting to rally to the Manly side that's Ryan uh, uh, Haggard Haggard swings it away to Borton Borton's going to be taken ball and all the Bronco defense has got to hold on here uh, slowly about to play at Wharton back over then to Noel Cleal. Cleal deciding to have a bit of a run, but he's going to be wrapped up. They came in over the top and bottled him up. Nice bit of work there by Terry Madison. No Very chance deep. of getting the pass away. Very deep back line. Hasler getting it away to Cliff Lyons. Lyons over to Dwyer. It bounces then towards uh, O'Connor. O'Connor gets a pass back. Uh, Dwyer's there and he's uh, knocked it on. Well, Michael O'Connor tried to pop that one out the back. I don't know that the urgency was necessarily there. He tried to get the hands over the top. Good, good uh, tackle, that one, by uh, Rowan Teven. The ball had gone loose. There it is. Dwyer trying to pick it up. Just knocked it forward. Broncos need this ball. They've got it. By the way, Duffy has uh, remained on the field, and there he is taking it up now, which is good news. The way they feed scrums these days, Bill, you don't need a hooker in the front row. You need him in the second row. You sure do. Knock back there. That's Slanger with it. Put to the ground by Ryan. He'll play the ball now. Walters is the dummy half. Back over there to Grant Ricks. Ricks up to the quarter line. Dummy half Walters. Broncos lead at the moment is 16 to 4. That was a half time score. They scored one great try that was set up by that man Dowling. Back it goes to Langer. Langer looking around. Ricks was in a bit of trouble overseas. So outside there, quick hands to Gene Miles. Miles coming up to Williams. He tried to flick it back. It rolls on the ground. Dived up by Johns. Also in there trying to get at his Lions. What's he going to rule He's here? Give it to Manley. He's given it to uh, Manly all right. So back it goes to Hansler. Oh, forward that's got to be pass. forward pass in a million miles to Darrell Williams. Miles is handling. He's letting him down. So back over there to Cliff Lyons. Lyons getting it outside then to Vorton. Vorton away to Dwyer. Dwyer's up ended in a nice tackle there by Alan Langer. Vorton is dummy half. He swings it back inside. This is Ryan bringing it up. And, oh, oh there's uh, Tessman coming at him. He'll play it now. Broncos defence has been top class here today. Haggard away from dummy half. Just as I say, they slip out of Madison's tackle. <laughs> <laughs> Try that light again, Bill. <laughs> Here's the final tackle, though. They cut out Cleo, get it away to Lyons. Lyons with a little kick over the top. O'Connor's the danger man. Going back there this time is Grant Ricks. He's going to be pinned in the end goal area. Well, Manly putting the pressure on. As I said a little while ago, we saw an attacking kick by Lewis that didn't keep uh, that Manly pinned down. That's the sort of tactic the Broncos need to adopt. Put the ball into the end goal area. Manly doing it well, putting the Broncos under pressure in the early minutes of the second half. Oh dear, that penalty helped a bit too, didn't it, when they um, were wiped down inside the Broncos' quarter. Yep. Here's Lewis with the drop out from underneath the goal mouth. Bouncing up towards Cliff Lyons, who taps it down with his foot. It eventually rolls through to Dwyer. Outside then to Ryan. Ryan up the centre. Oh, he's pulled out in a good front-on tackle there by Brett LeMann. This Having is Cleo. Cleo working across field. Madison over there for the tackle. Cleal pushing away Lewis as he plays it. Hasler then across to Lyons. Lyons starting to motor. Now he gets it away to Dwyer. Dwyer to O'Connor inside. They've lost the ball. And Grant Ricks will end up with it. Broncos in possession. Well, good defence by the Broncos. They're making sure they're confronting the uh, Manly backs. They're standing nice and deep Manly. But the Broncos aren't giving them any overlaps and any gaps to run through. Langer from dummy half to Downing. 
Manly's made, have made four handling errors already in this second half, and we've only got about eight minutes of play gone so far. So it's uh, been some top-class stuff coming in here from the the uh, Broncos' defence. So while that's happening, uh, Terry Kennedy down there on the touchline once again. Hang on, we'll stay with Alan Langer as he goes through. Gets it away to Walters. Always oh, lost it. Hasler will end up with it. Hasler starting to bustle across field and is going to be wrapped up. OK, TK. With me on the sideline is Dale Shearer. Dale uh, Manley making a lot of mistakes. Well, I think that's some... There's Corn a lot of concern. Out it comes to Rapati. Rapati down a touchline. But look at Lewis. Gets him into touch there. Great cover defence by Wally Lewis. He used to be a lock forward. And he certainly did well to get across there and cover. Here it is again on the replay. Before we go to Dale Shearer, there's Rapati down the sideline. Lewis comes across. Copybook stuff. Headed behind. Wraps the legs up and puts him into touch. Making a lot of mistakes early on in their tackle counts. That's true, mate. We're dropping a lot of ball out there. As you said, in the first set, set of six tackles, and uh, you can't score without the ball. Of course, what do you think Bob Fulton might have said at half-time? Well, I think we've just got to start going back to doing the basic things right, which uh, let us down the first half. You've been out with a broken jaw. How much longer before you're back in the field, Dale? Uh, I have an X-ray next Tuesday, and uh, ho hopefully it'll be healing all right, and I should be back within uh, three or four weeks. Dale Shearer, the manly fullback. So now we see Manly with a penalty. They find touch and bring it up to about 15 metres out from the Broncos line. So running onto it, uh, there's Cliff Lyons through the dummy to Broken Shire, but again, Gene Miles in there. That's a solid tackle from the big second rower. Haggard, who's been very dangerous from dummy half, finds the runner in Ryan. Dowling over the top. Brett LeMann has done a power of work in defence for the Broncos today as the man that went underneath, Hasler. Oh, that's a tremendous hit from Lewis. It's back now for Gately, but he's offside. Well, Good that's decision. The, that's the sort of pressure Lewis brings on the opposing 5-8. Cliffy Lyons uh, really mesmerised. He's really bewildered by this. Look at Lewis charge at him. Lyons realises he's in trouble, and what you do? Throw a forward pass. Gately was there to uh, pick it up. Even though he was running backwards, the ball had gone forward. Pretty good penalty, this one, for the Broncos because bad mistake there for the last scrum. They were in a bit of trouble after uh, they had the ball in their own second row. They collapsed it, and Mick Stone found a penalty. Well, the important thing is for the Broncos, they've weathered the first 10 minutes and uh, haven't conceded any points to Manly Warringah. So the Seagulls will be starting a little bit of desperation now because just 30 minutes of play left, they trail by 12 points. Good depth, Broncos. We haven't seen that for a lot of weeks. they got good depth and options on both sides of the ruck. Now Walters looks as though he may go blindside. Now he switches open with Madison. That's good defence again. Ryan led the charge for Manly Moringa. Walters today, as I mentioned, filling in for the test hooker, Greg Cadescu. John stepped off the right foot, got through one, but Hasler bulldogged him to the ground. Broncos a little bit flatter in attack this time as Miles. Important that he hangs on to the football. He's done it on this occasion. Plays at 10 metres outside the quarter. There's the kick. This one's deeper. It'll roll down towards... Oh, that's towed back. That's a bad mistake by Manly Moringa through Austin. And that's just the pressure that's been put on by the Broncos. Exactly what they needed there. A nice little kick back into the in-goal area. Austin had to try and get back. He tries to trap it with his foot. It squeezes off the foot then and then heads for the dead ball line. Manly now their turn to drop it out from underneath their goal post. The Broncos have got a good opportunity now to really apply the screws. Well, what a vital match this is for both sides. For Manly to stay in touch with the top three, and for the Broncos, it really was do or die today, and they've got 30 or 28 minutes to try and protect this lead. Manly are a side who can score a lot of points in a very short period of time, so the Broncos are just going to have to keep working away. Well, as I said before the half-time break, David, don't write this side off yet because they are a side that can score from anywhere on the, on the paddock. There's Langer, the darting run. He's come back into form today, Alan Langer. He scored in five consecutive matches, but hasn't scored a try for the Broncos since uh, April 10 against Newcastle at the International Sports Centre. Cliff Lyons, uh, uh, just getting back to his feet after trying to tackle Miles. Here's Walters. Walters into open space. Pop the pass back for Dowling. Lewis is in for his second try of the day. And is that the ball game? Are the Broncos still alive in 88? Wally Lewis leading by example over to his old mate Greg Dowling, who really has answered the critics today. Much maligned during the week by the Manly players. Watch Kieran Wallace out of dummy half. He's done some damage. What a talented player this fellow is. 
There he is, their characteristic uh, hit back. Dowling took the ball nicely. Lewis in good position. Once again, reading the play so well, Lewis, waiting for the play almost to catch up with him. He puts it down under the stick for his second try. He likes playing against Manly Ringer, I'd say. There's Lewis backing up. The only pass was back on the inside, though. Wallace couldn't have got it left. Lewis is still there in position. Dowling's had a top game. Lewis' second try. The Broncos are firing. Well, Billy, they've now scored over 60 points. This one set up by Kerrin Waller. 60 points in about 134 minutes of football against Manly this year. Yeah, good stuff. Wasn't there a couple of good things there? Like Walters getting it back as he was under the pressure. He was not Dowling to take it pretty high and pulled it down. And uh, Lewis, of course, on the spot and said, thank you very much. We'll whack one under the post. So, Wally Lewis, two tries in this match. Ten tries for the season. And Terry Madison with the ball placed from right in front. His easiest attempt so far in this match. Well, there's a bit of start around before this match, Dave. I understand something like 12 points you could have backed uh, the Broncos with, but uh, they certainly aren't going to need it the way they're running at the moment. So Wally Lewis has scored a try in the 12th minute of the first half, 12th minute of the second half. And it was so important that the Broncos were to stay alive, they posted first points in the second half. There's the kick from Madison. The flags go up. It's 22 points to four at Brookvale Able. Right. Welcome back to Brookvale Oval. O'Connor with the restart of play. And uh, I notice that Colin Scott is still warming up on the touchline, Terry. Is there still a problem with Duffy? Photo Shane Duffy is still suffering a lot of pain with that knee in the back he, he received late in the second half. And Colin Scott will be on within the next three or four minutes. You didn't make the fatal mistake of jumping up to applaud that try, TK, <laughs> did you? No, just a little hand wave. <laughs> LeVan got the pass away to test, but gee, he's had a strong game today. They put him in the Charlie Frith mould, uh, David, the former South Sydney, for the way that he hits in the tackles, and it is very much like him, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's got a similar fr frame as well. Dowling, uh, nice work, that one from Miles. Well, John's up over halfway. The pass was a little bit debatable, but he takes play over the halfway line. So the Broncos, a quick play, the ball is required. It goes to Lewis. Lewis turning it back in for LeMann, and LeMann inside for Teven. Good backing up by the Broncos, and that's John's. Final tackle. Will we see the deep kick from the Broncos? Colin Scott is on the field right now. He's wearing number 16 as Duffy goes to the touchline. Dowling, he's had a great game. It's out for Tessman. And Scott straight into the action. Scott over the 22, but O'Connor's there for Manly. Ooh, head Ooh. clash. Gee, there's a solid hit came in from Tessman as well. So back it goes for Dwyer. Tessman not well after clashing heads with Ricks. Well, I don't think Grant Ricks would be too flashy if Andrew Tessman's head hit him either. <laughs> How tough is Grant Ricks? There's Cleal. So the danger men for Manly are players like Cleal running wide and O'Connor. Well, you just can't take your, your eyes off him for one moment. Gately, who had a very strong first half, takes it 10 metres out from the 22. 25 minutes gone. 15 minutes gone in the second half. Lost it. What a tackle that one was on Cliff Lyons. He threw dummies outside and in and then got creamed. So it's the Broncos in possession again. Lewis holds the ball up for Miles. Miles takes on Hasler. Over the top went Cleal to wrap him up, ball and all. There we go, Scott. Oh, gee, he's made his inroads in already. Oh, great run by Colin Scott. Welcome back to first grade, Scotty. That's a great try for the Broncos. Well, there's a sign of a champion. He's been languishing in reserve grade for the last six weeks, given his chance, burst down the right-hand side of the field once, and then right in the middle of the ruck, out of dummy half, showed good work to step through the middle of the ruck. Hasler hasn't missed too many tackles today. Tim Dwyer was going the wrong way. Lyons does well to try and stop him grounding the ball. No stopping Colin Scott. He got it down nicely. Once again, from the side on, steps away from Hasler, couldn't uh, secure the tackle. Haggart was too late on the scene, then Scotty straightens it up. Lyons does his best, but he's too late. Colin Scott rubs it in. Oh, no, here it is again. That was Scott. Mate, it looked so easy, didn't he? The um, Manly defence. Well, you noticed in the lead-up to that, players are uh, really playing so positively. Now it doesn't matter. And he's in for the try. And I noticed quite a few people leaving Brookvale Oval. Two tries in four minutes to the Broncos. And I mentioned after the uh, match at Lang Park, David, when the Broncos raced in seven tries, that not too many sides in 88 will score seven tries against them again in the season. The Broncos have come up with five. Well, they're going well. There's still plenty of time to go. Another 22 minutes. And the Broncos, uh, we know that there was a tactic used by Wayne Bennett in the preparation for this match. He showed the team a video of the match they played against Manly, the very first fixture game, 44-10 the score. And he said, I used to know a very good side who played some pretty good football and now they've slumped a bit in the latter part of the second half. Well, he certainly found that side again today. Just the tonic they needed. Bennett has got them up there. 
Terry Madison, three goals from four attempts so far. A chance for a 28 to four lead. Up go the flags and that is the scoreline at Brookvale. The Broncos lead by 24 points. Terry Madison, gee, he's had a, a great run against the Broncos to the Seagulls this season. <laughs> I don't think they like him too much. Well, that's uh, four goals, eight points and a try, 12 point haul, 36 points, Billy, in the two matches so far. And we're still uh, not at the halfway mark of the second half. There's Lewis. That's good play by the Manly side. There's Rapati. The two Kiwis combining. Little Langer goes for him. He, and Walters. And uh, finally he's wrapped up five metres out from the 22. O'Connor. This is the man they're going to have to watch. And watched him well today. So Haggart. Very strong game today. Charlie Haggart. Ryan. He's run the ball strongly in the second half. Came on as a replacement for the test prop Phil Daly. Which caused a reshuffle in this Manly pack. Lyons, good pass back for Williams. That's good play by Cliff Lyons. Defence again. The Broncos' defence has been outstanding today. O'Connor, quick hands. Hasler, Vorton, he's been quiet, but this time he's burst up. Gee, there's good defence again by the Broncos. <laughs> Tremendous stuff. Final tackle. Haggart, back it goes for Lyons. The kick behind the... Oh, that's... Tremendous play. Desperation stuff from the Broncos. Teven got back there. He threw himself backwards. He was coming the wrong way. Let's look at it at replay. He was moving up. Lions a good little kick in behind. And watch Teven throw himself back. The ball stuck like glue to his fingers. Good effort from Teven. Well, Billy, just at the halfway mark of the second half, uh, I'm staying in Sydney tonight, but I wouldn't mind joining you on the plane going back. I think there'll be a bit of celebration. <laughs> yes, I think so too. They deserve it. They play particularly well today and really socked it to Manly. And that's one of the guys that's uh, spearheaded the uh, the whole thing. Uh, Greg Dowling, a top class performance from him today. He's been much maligned uh, during the season for below par performances, but he's certainly answered any of his critics. He is a big, big match player, and uh, Greg Dowling knows that this is now big match time. Billy, but five uh, English rugby league clubs are after him, and I noticed that Peter Deacon from Open Rugby is here today, so he'll be going back with glowing reports about big Greg Dowling. My word, he will. There's a good kick by Lewis. Eventually finds touch some 20 metres inside Manly territory. There's the kick again. Lewis with pinpoint accuracy. Couple of metres inside the field of play and runs on. As will defeat the scrum for Manly. Time running out for them. 28 points to four. Lewis is still issuing instructions as we see Mick Stone give a caution to big Joe Rapati, the big Kiwi international playing on the uh, wing for Manly and not selected in the Kiwi side to play uh, tests against Great Britain later on in the season. Through the legs of Hasler, but he quickly scoops it up, sends it across to Cliff Lyons. Lyons outside to O'Connor. O'Connor working across field, showing the ball out of one hand. Going out after him is Teban. Can Teban get him coming across is Colin Scott. I don't think Scotty will have the pace. Teban's our hope. He sends it back inside. Rapati tackled from behind him. Bowled over. Well, or rather, he, Williams. Thought he could have gone all the way. I thought I would have uh, done that myself. The ball towed through this time by Hasler. Going back, uh, it's going to be... He found a penalty for obstruction on Manly, about 12 metres out. No, penalty for offside, the Broncos. That's what he's decided from that uh, play the ball. Let's have a look at it. Michael O'Connor looked to have the, uh, the pace on for me, and he threw it back on the inside, only put him into traffic. Williams tackled. Broncos never then back on in an onside position. Lewis there. Lewis getting in the road. The ball actually hit Wally Lewis, and from that point on, uh, Mick Stone was just waiting to see if Manly had the advantage. They didn't. They've taken the penalty and they're close to the try line. Here's Charlie Haggard. He's uh, over up. the line. Can he get the ball down? Held up. Held up. That's it. No Good try. defense, Broncos. Haggard not happy. You've got to get it down first time, Charlie. You can't have two shots at it. Let's have a look at it from the head on. Dowling once again in underneath there, along with another player. Held up initially. Good decision by Mick Stone. Too late to try and do it in a second movement. Held up over the try line. Manly are going to make a replacement. As we see it again, Dowling's worked his heart out. Teva there in underneath him as well. The ball is not down. It's in a second movement, but he might have just touched it on the ground. That's too late. Loose head and feed to the Broncos, and Manly have made a change. Terry. Broken shy coming from the field, and Pocock is on in his place. Also, Paul Vorton suffering from a bad dose of the flu. Well, that could account for uh, the quiet performance today from uh, from him, but also uh, we noticed that uh, Greg Dowling uh, was getting over the flu earlier this week too, so he's kicked a little bit better than Fatty has. That was Mark Pocock we saw there as the replacement on number 15. There's Madison up the centre, gets it away to Walters. He's a good link man, this fellow. Leaning forward there, Teven to take it. So dummy half is Walters. Broncos have a lead of 28 points to four. This is Langer. Langer wrapped up 20 metres out from the Broncos line. Walters is dummy half. Back to Lewis. 
Lewis drives it upfield. It'll be up over the halfway. Wire going back there for Manley. He sends it away to Rapati. Rapati going to be tackled up there by Madison, but got the pass to Hasler. Outside then to Lyons. Lyons across over there to Rapati, uh, rather uh, Austin. Austin's going to be wrapped up. Good tackle over there by Hancock. Took him ball and all. There's been many features of the Broncos' performance today, but defence has been one of them. That's Haggett. Going around in circles. Still going, Haggett. He flew out the back of it there. Diving tackle coming in from Walters. You said that again, Bill, about yeah. their defence. <laughs> Well, they say have been two blemishes. <laughs> Back inside to Hackett again as he uh, took it inside of Noel Cleal. From the play of the ball yeah, now, yeah, it'll be Michael it. Oh, there's a penalty coming up. Yeah, well, Mick Stone decided there was a hand in there trying to steal the ball. Quick tap by Manley. So back over there to Haslam. Yeah, there it is there. Meanwhile, the play goes on. Borton sending it back inside. This is Hasler. Hasler sends it away to Haggett. Haggett's going to be bowled over about five metres out from the Broncos line. Getting Boring. up to... For and against going to be very important this uh, year too, so make sure that you don't give away any consolation tries. A little kick through by Lyons. Ryan's out after it. Tevens there. Ryan's going to be the first one there. So that's Glenn Ryan in for the try for Manly Warringah, and the fans here have waited quite some time to uh, get those points on the board. Significant. Manly has scored two tries. They both had to come from kicks because the Broncos' defence has been outstanding. Good grubber kick this one. The grubber kick from Lyons. The little one in behind. Ryan, the replacement player, came on at half time. He's first to the ball. Teven almost there. That's Manly's second try. Here it is again now from ground level. Well, clever have a kick this one from Cliff Lyons, and the Broncos really went to sleep on that. Lewis slipped over, and great pace by Glenn Ryan. And I think it's come a little bit too late for Manly Warringah, and I just feel that uh, Tessman was called out for caution there as well yeah, while those replays were on. Touch judge came in and made a report. Uh, here's Michael O'Connor attempting to convert the try straight through the centre. So it's the Broncos leading by 28 points to 10. Coming back. Back ready for the kickoff now, and at this stage we have just 15 minutes remaining in the match. And the Broncos have a lead of 28 points to 10. I wonder if the Manly side will keep the newspaper clippings from this weekend, Billy. <laughs> well, time's got away from them, I think. There's Wally Lewis. So it's a long time in between drinks for the Manly supporters. I said they had to wait a while. They had to wait 40 minutes between tries. Here's Madison now restarting play. So for the Broncos now, they go on to meet Penrith at Penrith Park. And I would imagine, David Wright, that they'll approach that match with a heck of a lot of confidence now. Yes, they will. And uh, just as much urgency, of course, Penrith are a different side to Manly. Manly like to be flashy. They like to throw the ball around. And the Broncos have contained them pretty well in that uh, style of play. Penrith are very, very physical. So now we see Manly in possession. Haggard sending it back. It's going to be lost by Noel Cleal. Rolls on the ground, but the referee will play the knock on. So we'll have the scrum forming 30 metres out from the Manly line. Manly losing uh, the ball on seven occasions now and the handling department has not been good for them today. So it's Langer. Pops it out the back then to Colin Scott. Colin Scott is going to be picked up there by Wharton. He'll play it now to the dummy half, Lewis. Lewis back over there to Dowling. Dowling about to play it. Dummy half up there is Walters. Walters back to Gene Miles. Lost the ball, Gino. Going to be picked up by Haggard. Dummy half up there is Gately. Gately feeds it away to Pocock. Pocock breaks out of the tackle over there of uh, Tessman. Can he get it around the corner? Hancock's out after him. He did get it away around the corner, but it's going to be lost over there by Austin. Well, the Broncos cannot afford to relax. Great run by Pocock. Manny have got two fresh players on there. Ryan scored the try. Pocock did well. He moved the ball nicely. Couldn't be handled by Austin. Uh, he looked like he had it. All he had to do was uh, gain control of it. Colin Scott was beaten. Langer takes it, goes, well, tries to go the blind side, but doesn't get far. No dummy half. Uh, Hancock had to run in from the wing there to dive on it. So don't go to sleep, fellas. Just keep going for a while, please. This is Walters working across field. Wrapped up over there by both Pocock and also Fortin. This is Dowling. Well, they can't afford to go into slow motion. They still need to play with the same sort of urgency. Here's Lewis. Lewis is going to kick now. But it goes straight to Dwyer. Dwyer starts to move. There's plenty of Broncos defence <laughs> coming at him. He slipped over as Lewis was coming in to knock him over. And he got up and started playing it, uh, started passing it. The referee there signalling that he'd called held and said that he'd uh, had the ball held on his chest. Tim Dwyer fell over there. And I'm surprised Lewis was charging at him like a runaway train, trying to get the big hit on him. That's where the uh, tackle had uh, been called held, effectively held. Broncos with a chance, loose head and feet. So it's Langer. 
finally getting it out. He tries to slip through beside the scrum, but Hasler was right onto him. Uh, dummy half there is Madison. Wasted tackle. So uh, it's back over there to Dowling. Dowling up the centre, trying to fight his way through. Pocock underneath, clear over the top. Dummy half waiting up there this time is, Wal is Walters. Langer, Miles. Miles swinging it away to Scott. He's lost it. Miles picks it up and the referee will play the knock on. Uh, well, the old combination there of uh, Gene Miles and Colin Scott attempting to uh, create something, but uh, not on this occasion. Colin Scott confront confronted by a couple of defenders, lost the ball. So we'll wait for Hasler to feed. In by Hasler. Around the open side, away to Cliff Lyons. Lyons looking for Dwyer coming into the back line. Nice tackle over there by Johns, though. So away from dummy half is Lyons, trying to step up the centre. Lewis in over the top to take care of him. So uh, back we go again. This is Noel Cleal. Cleal up the centre, sends it back to Hasler. Hasler getting it away this time to Ryan. Ryan starting to move. Away to O'Connor. O'Connor bustling his way through. Wrapped up. Got the pass back over there to Lyons. Backing up nicely. Lyons props. Cuts back inside. Still going. Uh, got a pass away to Rapati. Rapati cutting back the other way. Now goes round in circles. Back to O'Connor. O'Connor, they still haven't put over. Floats it right up over the top. That's 29 miles forward. 29 miles. 29 feet. 29 inches. Doesn't matter too much. The ball's gone forward. They had a great passage of play to get that far. The pass by... Uh, Michael O'Connor definitely forward and Austin can't uh, put it down because the scrum's got a pack. Loose head and feed to the Broncos. It's Langer that comes up with possession of the ball. Just 10 metres outside his own goal line. Hancock. And so we're into the final 10 minutes of play. Round 16 of the Winfield Cup. The Broncos led by 16 points to four. There's an unforced error. Little knock on there by Kerrit Walters. Well, they really can't afford to go to sleep here with 10 minutes to go. 18 points the difference. That's not beyond a side like Man Manly Warringah. So it'll be Hasler to work the scrum for Manly Warringah. Blind side goes Lyons. But the ball didn't come out cleanly and Langer was right onto Hasler. Four. Out it goes. Ryan. Met midfield. Tried to pull out of the tackle. A good quick play. The ball running onto the ball is Cleal. But little Walters met him front on. Lamand came over the top. I've been very impressed with Brett Lamand's defence today. So they move it again. Quick hands required by Manly Baringa. Here's the danger man, O'Connor, and it's out for Austin. Ton of pace, the pass back in field, but a foot into touch on the far side. Great cover defence by Michael Hancock. He was in trouble. O'Connor had got around the outside of Lewis. Hancock had to come in and then go out and chase his winger. Knocked into touch, the touch judge says. Let's see uh, who's going to get loose head and feed. It is the Broncos. Brett Lemann, 21 tackles so far in the match. The Broncos leading by 28 points to 10. Been a pretty convincing display too, scoring five tries to two. Two of those tries to the skipper Wally Lewis, who's taken his try scoring tally for the 88 season to 10. We've made the mention before the game, David, when Wally was sort of saying he probably thought he shouldn't be playing out there today, but when he's wounded, he tends to come out and play the big one. Yeah, sign of a champion, and uh, Lewis certainly has uh, done it well today. Oh, that's a good pass from Langer, and that's put uh, Johns into open space. He tried to get the pass away. Six more tackles to the Broncos, but they've lost it. And Manly come up with the ball inside their own half. So around about eight minutes of play remaining here at Brookvale Oval. A lot of the crowd have started to disperse. Long floating pass for Tim Dwyer. Tries to get around Dowling. Got the pass to Rapati. And Rapati takes the... Oh, Ooh. gee, the boot came out and copped even. Rapati plays the ball to O'Connor. Oh, look at the skill of this guy. Got the pass back in field for Dwyer. Tackle, Tessman. And he runs straight into Andrew Tessman. Now the Manly side lined out an attack. Vorton very slowly unloading the pass for Lyons. Back for Vorton. Vorton kept it alive for Hasler. He's got a ton of pace. Tries to get around Langer, but he can't. He's still alive. And coming from behind is Walters. So Gately plays the ball. It goes to Vorton through the dummy that made no inroads into that Broncos defence on tackle number five. It goes to Hasler. There's Lyons. Ball loose on the ground. It's picked up by big Gene Miles. And so the Broncos with possession of the ball about five metres out from their own goal line and about seven and a half minutes of play remaining. Tessman. 
belts it up about 15 metres out from his own goal line. Well, today, David, was the moment of truth for the Broncos. A loss today would have been uh, a telling blow to their top five prospects, and but they're alive again in 88, and uh, two vital points. Well, two, sure, uh, Forte, but they've got to keep on with it now. There's another six games before the end of the season. They've really got to uh, treat this as the home straight now as Lewis gets his uh, kick charged down. O'Connor is the man that picks it up for Manly Baringa. They had to be uh, stood up and be counted. I think it's significant too that uh, the representative season basically uh, now finished in that even though there's a test on on Wednesday, the Ashes series has been won along with the State of Origin series. Oh, there's the good break by DeWire. Support on the inside. He got the pass back infield. It's loose on the ground. And I think it may be a Broncos ball. Colin Scott. Scott is the man that comes up with possession of it. About uh, 18 metres out from his own goal line. The manly side... Well and truly beaten by the Broncos for the second outing in 88. And I believe a replacement, Terry. Yes, number 15, Ray Herring, will take the field and Gene Miles will be coming off from the second row. Well, I think from memory, other than the early trial match, David, this is uh, Herring's first appearance in the top grade. Yes, he's had a few problems this season uh, with injury and the like, but he's a talented player. He can play hooker and also in the uh, back row. And uh, he'll... Uh, so there he is, Ray Herring. He'll uh, enjoy the challenge. Well, Gino makes one big last impact on this game and a tremendous run up field, but he's wrapped up high by O'Connor. Stood on the ground, and finally it's Cleal that comes in to make sure he goes to ground. The final tackle now for the Broncos, 10 metres. They are in the Manly Territory, floating pass. It's a loose one on the ground. It was knocked forward by Madison, and the referee, Michael Scott, will pack the scrum down. There's so Herring coming on. He's hearing going on. Lewis not happy at all with that particular passage of play. He was standing on the right-hand side of the ruck and uh, didn't get the ball. Craig Knock Groff, on's going eventuated. On. Groff, Craig Groff coming on and Wally Lewis. Well, let's see what the reaction is for King Walter. They had a sign-up earlier, Queen Walter, but he's certainly the king of the castle here today. And he's getting a great round of applause and, in fact, a standing ovation. That's tremendous stuff for the Manly supporters. They were booed onto the ground. But people in front of me here, David, standing and applauding, or are they applauding Des Hasler who's coming off? <laughs> Could be either, and Wally well, might like to come off with Gino more often too. Could have been a bit for Gino. There's the break from the back of the scrum base. Well, I'll give the Manly supporters the benefit of the doubt there. There's Wally Lewis having a chat to uh, the press on the sideline, and no doubt Terry Kennedy will be catching up with him in a moment. So the ball uh, being fed in the scrum. It's a Manly ball. I notice Shaw is on the field also for the Manly side, replacing Hasler. There's Dewey, who really has had a pretty sound game today for Manly. O'Connor, ever alert and ever dangerous. Back it goes for Craig Groff, his first touch. Stepping run. In fact, it's Michael Hancock who's come across. Teven. Dummying run upfield. That's a good run by Teven. So into the final five minutes. It's been impressive stuff, Bill. My word, it has. Uh, I think it was a great performance from them today. Well, it was the one that mattered, and they certainly showed that they've got it. Terry Kennedy's down on the touchline, and he's talking now with Wally Lewis. Well, Wally, it was a virtual grand final for the Broncos, and they've come up trumps. Yeah, mate, uh, it was a very uh, very important win for us, and the two blokes that laid the foundation for us, Greg Dowling and, uh, and Andrew Tessman, certainly made uh, the other 11 blokes' jobs a lot easier. It must be something about the mud that GD loves. Yeah, he certainly seems to thrive in it, doesn't he? And... Uh, the performance he put out there in the first half in particular was the one that uh, made our job a hell of a lot easier towards uh, achieving success over this side. And it's not easy to beat Manly, but uh, Greg uh, made it rest, uh, easy on the rest of us. Of course, big gaps up, big gaps up the middle of the uh, Manly ruck. Is that where you, you concentrated on? Well, that's where we virtually had to take as many yards as we could. We realised uh, in the weak conditions, throwing the ball around uh, was, was going to be uh, quite dangerous. And our blokes decided that if we could get on top of Manly in the middle, then uh, our, our job was uh, virtually home and hosed. Wally Lewis, well done. Certainly was. A great uh, captain's role again out there from uh, Wally Lewis today. They're leading by 28 points to 10. The pass is loose on the ground. It's back with uh, Ryan. Ryan got it away to Austin again. He ran around in circles. He decides to kick and chase. That's clever play by the manly right winger. He's got the bounce. Pulled out of the tackle of uh, Colin Scott. But finally was knocked over by Hancock on the fifth tackle. Clear a dummy. There it goes with Lions. The kick over the top and look for O'Connor. O'Connor, but the, this time the bounce eludes him. Well, they've had a bit of luck with the bounce. Their first try was pretty lucky, but uh, 
They didn't get the bounce that time. They've scored two tries, as I mentioned, that could have been a third one from the kick. Beautifully laid up by Cliff Lyons. The ball just bounced to the left. O'Connor was on the spot. He just had to uh, grab it if he could. Just got away from him. Scrum, loose head and feed, Broncos. Langer. David, you mentioned there, um, uh, we heard Wally say about uh, not playing the fancy football in the conditions. Do you think Manly tried to do a little bit too much early? I'm sure they did, uh, Bill. Uh, that's their style of play, and I think uh, the Broncos have been pretty loose in recent matches. I think Bob Fulton may have been conned a little bit into thinking that they could uh, keep the ball alive and uh, the Broncos wouldn't be there in a position to tackle. This has been one of the best defensive de displays by the Broncos, and it cannot be underestimated the fact that Manly have not run the ball over the Broncos' try line. Well, there's the two prop forwards combining again. Good play by the Broncos. A chance for Groff, who's up over halfway. Stepped off the left foot, but picked off of the tackle by Dwyer. So Herring is the man of dummy half. The Broncos still on the roll. It goes out to Langer, looking for runners. He's found Madison. Madison over the 22. Fifth tackle. Dowling looking for work here this afternoon, calling for it, but Langer goes on his own. The little kick through. Dwyer knocked the ball on. This could be a try for the Broncos again. But it's gone over the touchline. Well, the try was on. Only had to reach the hands of Brett Lemann as he places the hands on top of the head and uh, throws them down. Good little kick. This has been good play from the Broncos. They've kept pressure on with those little grubber kicks once they've got near the try line. Pass picked up well. Fired out. Lemann couldn't quite get a hold of it. Went over the touchline. So the scrum feed by Manly Baringa. We notice Scott is up flat in the line in, de in defence for the Broncos. Sure. It's been a feature of the defensive pattern by the Broncos today. David mentioned it a little bit earlier that there's been no player behind the line. Both Langer and Lewis have stood up in the midfield. Well, here goes O'Connor again. Got the pass away to Big Rapati. He's got a ton of pace and strength. Oh, that's good backing up by Cliff Lyons. He's up over halfway. Changed the point of attack with Shaw. But a tremendous tackle from Teven. They chase well, the Broncos, even when Manny have made some good downfield breaks. O'Connor. Five metres short. That's the last play. And a vital win by the Brisbane Broncos. They led by 16 points to four at halftime. They've run out winners by 28 points to 10, scoring five tries to two in the process. And the two real heroes were the uh, prop forwards we saw in picture there a moment ago, Big Greg Dowling and Andrew Tesman. They gave it a high five too. Wouldn't it be a high five with this fellow? You're free flat out reaching the uh, stars with him. But uh, everyone played well. We were mentioning there before, teven has got a bit of an ankle problem, maybe a bit of a... Uh, a, uh, a bit of a cramp, a cramp in the leg. But I think a feature of the Broncos' defensive de display was that Langer and Lewis stayed in the line all the time and therefore they had that extra man in there. Manny found it very difficult to uh, breach that. And credit to uh, Bennett for the tactic and also the Broncos for carrying it out. One other player I'd like to mention I thought had a top match was Brett LeMann.